Hi, this is Sharon Lim. I blog at SharonItWithYou.blogspot.com and today we're going to do a card that has a pinwheel in the front and it opens up two sided triangles. Isn't that cool? Let's get started. So start with a base card that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then I marked it two inches in six spots. So two inches from here two inches from here and two inches from each side and I drew lines and that's where you're going to score and all I did was take a bone folder and a ruler and just scored along the lines so then all you need to do is fold along the scores And then there's another score here, so you can fold it this way, and you can do both, because you're just going to reinforce it. So fold it both ways, and then push them inside. And there you go. So that's the base of it. Now in order to fill in the insides, so it looks like this... I got some pieces of DSP, the new hand pinned, and they are four by five and a quarter. And with a pencil, um, I marked one and seven eighths from the left and right side, on, and then also the right and left side on the top. And then just really quickly, you're just going to cut from the marks up to make those triangles. To cut them off like that and this is perfect to go inside the card these aren't going to be exactly perfect so the key to make them um, fit because look if you look real careful here it's a little bit too long so you're just going to cut off this side of it to be able to fit And it's always a puzzle each time I do this. So let's see this one here. And I'll cut off the edge here. Let me measure again. It's usually the short side. And here. And just for fun, in the original card I did switch them over. So you can keep them purple. Um, sorry, Highland Heather. Or you can flip them. So just for some different visuals, I think I'm going to flip them. Is that the right way? Yeah. All right. So then I'm going to take the lovely stamp and seal tiefer at the top to remind me where to put it. And I'm going to put a little adhesive. Got to remember to erase my little pencil marks. I don't show later. And then just some adhesive here. Get that adhesive started. One piece on the top. And it's just perfect, just a little quarter inch less. And a piece on the bottom. Matching it up along the edges. And just a little for each side here. And I just, like I said, I just, I flipped it over just to be fun. I think I've done this before and I did the matching colors, but it might be nice to have a different coordinating color for it. And last one. And I think it's a beautiful visual for somebody to open up a card and actually see it kind of pop open that way. So next, I wanted to show you how to make that lovely pinwheel. It's a really great technique. I did it with another card. Um, I think it was the... What was it? Was it the maze card? Or the pyramid card, I think. 
So I cut out some more DSP, matching DSP. First, I got some cardstock that so two two squares that measure two and five eighths, and then eight one and a quarter squares. And I love the graph paper because it has the center T in here. And what I do is I to, in order to find the center is I match up all the corners along the center line, just like it is there. And then this one, I'm going to put a little adhesive here first. And then this one you're going to line up the opposite way, so perpendicular. And the way I do it is I count the squares to make sure that I'm evenly here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five and a bit to make it all even. So there it is. So it's perfectly centered. Now, when I do the pinwheel part, I'm going to flip these over because I'm going to alternate between the flowers and the backside. So a little adhesive on here. And the first way you start is you're going to line it up against the top here. And then Kind of pull it up a little bit. Don't let it. Don't press all the way in because the next one, I'm gonna put the adhesive on this side. And you're gonna slip it under and you're gonna line it up on this one. So do you see that? Same. So keep this lifted. A little adhesive here. And we'll press it all down when we're all done. So here, this is gonna be the opposite side. So lift it up. Line it up. Don't press it down yet. It's a great technique, great one for helping you um, use up scraps because you know how we get a lot of scraps left over and you don't know what to do with them. So this is a good technique to use for all those strips that you probably have saved like I do. Pull it up a little, line it up. Make sure it has just a little bit of the frame of the he Highland Heather, so you want that to stick up just a bit. Pull it up just a little. Don't let it stick completely. Frame that up. The last one. This one, you're just going to tuck in like that. Isn't that a cool look? This cool pinwheel look. And then, what did I use for this center? I think I used some of these genial gems. Let me put one in the center. Let's do one of the big ones. There you go. Then some little adhesive here on the back. Do the front. And either way, whether you want it this way, this way, I think I'm going to stick with this way. And then I left a little room right here to stamp in some sentiment. So this one says thanks. And just throw in the coordinating stamp set, the hand pinned petals in Highland Heather. I was just going to stamp it right there. Never have too many thank you cards. And that's it. The pinwheel slash double triangle card. So thanks for letting me share this with you. Please support me by either subscribing to my YouTube channel, checking out my blog at sharingitwithyou.blogspot.com. And hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.